unaishi wapi Nairobi? Umoja. Umoja. Uh, Wewe na yeye watu wawili tu. Hata tulikuwa tumefungua duka. Fanya tulifungua duka after miezi 5 ikapiki. Fanya ile piki tulikuwa tumefungua duka 150. Hapo ndio ni kama aliwekewa mapeko. Inamuonyesha tu aende kwa nyumba ajiue, ajikokeshe gari. Fanya tulifika huko tukanunua image ya living water tukampulizia. Nyumbani ni wapi? Mimi kwa tu ni Karatina, Nyeri na pia kwa ni huko huko tu. Kwao ni Karatina? Huko Nyeri tu. Hmm. Nyeri. Hmm. Na wewe? Kwa tu ni huko tu. Huko huko. Lakini si ni far, si karibu. Hautaki mwanamke mwingine? Hautaki mimi mwingine. Nataka tu huyu. Si wanawake wote wangekuwa wamependwa hivi. Ubaya sasa ni This is not real love. Hii si upendo wa kweli. This is a time bomb. Hii ni kitu ambacho kimepangwa ya huyu kufa. For this one to die. Sababu huyu ataenda tu because this one will just go anyway. Na huyu atajiua tu and he will commit suicide. Na ni kweli alikuwa 44. So ndugu yangu so my brother upendo wako sio love your love is not true sio upendo wa kuoa it's not the love for marriage ni unafiki it is hypocrisy ikiisha once over inaishanga vibaya it ends badly upendo wa kweli huwa na subira na humpa mwenzako nafasi ya kufanya uamuzi wa busara a true love that has patience and will allow your friend to make the wise decision about it. Upendo wa kweli huwa subira. The true love has patience na hailazimishi and it is not forceful. Upendo wa kweli huelezea mwenzake jinsi anavyompenda. In a true love it will, it will explain to your friend what you want. Upendo ambao sasa hauendi kazini miezi mitatu in a love where you cannot go to work for 3 months. Baba wewe unaota ndoto mbaya na huyu atakuwa hai na huyu wewe utakufa naomba unielewe leo nitawapa damu ya Yesu mtafunguka macho nyote wawili today i will give you the blood of jesus your eyes will be open today alafu itakuwa vile itakavyokuwa and it will turn the way it will ukikunywa ile damu ya Yesu when you take that blood of jesus kwa ajili ya hii ndoa for this marriage Hautampenda vile unampenda. Hii hii si ya Mungu. You will not love her the way you are loving us because, because it is time bomb. It is not godly. Mwanaume apendi mwanamke, nakupenda nakupenda usiende na kupenda pana. A man cannot love a wife and always follow her and not let her go. No. Wewe ndio kichwa. You are the head. Unalea mwenzako. You raise and help your friends, your spouse. Leo nitawapa damu Yesu Kristo mtafunguka macho nyote. Today I will give you the blood of Jesus all of you your eyes will open. Alafu upendo wa kweli utaonekana katikati yenu. And a true love will manifest in you. Mimi nataka nikaeane nafasi ya testimony ziko nyingi sana. I know I want to give a chance for people with testimony. Mahusiano ya kweli yanahusu kuelewana na kudhaminiana. Inahusu pia kuona mitazamo tofauti na kuwaona wengine kama washirika. Lakini tunashirikiana vipi na kufanya kazi pamoja ili kufikia malengo yetu? Hiyo inaweza mara nyingi kuja kwa malengo makuu kwa kila mtu anayehusika kwa mawasiliano na uaminifu. Mawasiliano ya kweli yanamaanisha watu hujaribu kuelewana na hakuna pengo la doubts. Hmm? Wanasikilizana na kujaribu kuona picha kamili. Jamani wasikilizaji, vitu zingine zikifanyika pale kansani ukue makini ili wale wakirekebishwa na wewe pia kama you are passing this kind of situations, kama uko na this kind of challenge katika your relationship it is good that you sit down listen and learn from wale ambao wana wanaongelelewa si saa zile pasta anawakosoa ama saa zile pasta anawa advise wewe uko 
unawaangalia wao yani unaangalia kile kidonda kiko kwa wale lakini uone kile ki, kiko ndani yako basa najaribu kuwaeleza wale lakini in that in that moment anawaeleza naomba sana wewe pia u grab upate kitu pia pale kikukusaidie wale wakisaidika pia wewe usi usipitwe nyuma. Kwa hivyo mimi kwa maoni yangu nimeona kwamba yule kijana hana confidence na relationship yake. Yaani I mean ana uhakika ako 50 na 50 ndio maana anakaa kwa nyumba ili kumchunga yule dada. Unaweza shinda kwa nyumba na dada akwambie mimi naenda tu hapa lakini ile mwendo huyo msichana atakuwa ameenda utatia akili. Kwa hivyo ni ombi langu kwamba tunapojiingiza katika relationship kama hizi tukue na confidence. Is this relationship worth it my effort? Is this relationship healthy for my life actually and mostly my spiritual life? Manake pale hakuna ugonjwa mbaya kama wa kiroho. Manake utakauka na ukikauka jua shetani naye atapiga hodi na mtakuwa na amani katikati yenu. Kwa hivyo mjadhari sana. Na la pili pia nimeona relationship hii hakuna mtu anaona yule mwingine in future. Hapana, umesikia huu mmoja alikuwa sijui ataka kwenda zake majuu na huyu mwingine naye amechanganyikiwa ndio maana anajaribu wamekimbia mbio kwa mchungaji wasaidike. Na naamini na naomba sana hiyo damu ya Mungu, hiyo damu ya Yesu wakikunywa tu wafunguke macho. Nimeona kuna mmoja anajifo sana na mwingine ako 50 50 yako cool tu yeye ya yaangalia tu na macho. Na ni yule kijana. Yule kijana ako na it's about me, not about us. Yule kijana yasema mi namtaka huyu. Mi sitaki mwingine wewe ndio nakutaka. Lakini pale ndani yule mwingine is he saying the same words? Is he saying pia mimi nakutaka wewe? Ah ah. Yeye amenyamaza ame cool ataki mambo mingi lakini ukijana anasema mimi nakutaka wewe sitaki mwingine ni wewe and like he's forcing things so it is supposed to be it is about us nakutaka wewe na yule mwanzako anasema nakutaka wewe so it is about us not it's about me to love you and you don't love back okay then sijaona a natural relationship relationship ama love ambayo ni natural inaonekananga yenyewe ukiona ule kijana yuko doa macho na yajaribu kutumia nguvu yani kimwili hata ukiangalia mwili wake ni wa nguvu nguvu yani ni kama yatumia mambo kwa nguvu na ndio maana mlikuwa mmemmsikia akisema yeye alikuwa yashinda kwa nyumba kwa pale kuna insecurity yule kijana hakuwa na imani kamilifu ya kwamba ah my dear you are just free do whatever you feel that you are comfortable yani relationship should be free okay it should be natural itoke ndani ya moyo kwa mwenzako na pia kwa wewe na kingine pia nimeona you won't do anything to hurt your partner utafanya jambo lolote ili umhurt mwenzako lakini pale ni kama nimeona kitu kama hiyo kuna mtu you are hurt mwenzake manake huyu msichana you ataka kwenda zake kijana ataki kuumia nani atakufa ndo maana naambiwa wewe huyu ataenda na wewe utajinyonga haya mwenzake naye alikuwa yubaki kwa nyumba you ataka kujinyonga unaona pale hakuna hakuna insecurities yani hakuna a good vibe ya not hurting one another they really want to hurt one another for no reason so meaning that their love it's 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 not natural so for you to have a godly love hizo chembe chembe zenye nimewaambia zitafuatana na wewe kwamba you will have confidence in your relationship you will see each other in future it is not about me but it's about us then the feeling itakuwa natural mta keep promise and you would do anything to hurt your partner i hope mmeelewa pale mmeapik ya wasaidie kwa ili ya kuonana mama radi hapa